Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Luna's unexpected letter to Bill see what fake daughter has to say. The bold and the beautiful B and B. Spoilers reveal that Bill Spencer, Don Diamond, will receive an unexpected delivery during the week of November 4 to 8. Once a letter shows up from imprisoned Luna Nozawa, Lisa Yamada, Bill will definitely be caught off guard. Bill will have a chance to open up to Katie Logan, Heather Tong, about this letter and its contents in the November 8 episode. We'll see Bill think back on some difficult memories as a result of what Luna shares. B and B spoilers indicate that Luna's letter will actually be quite heartfelt. Since Luna has had some time to reflect behind bars, she may send this letter to Bill so that she can apologize. Luna duped Bill into believing she was his daughter and ultimately shifted gears once the DNA test outcome was proven false. Bill struggled to make sense of Luna's actions after she started planning kisses and trying to make him her man. Of course, Luna did more than just rig the paternity test results and mess with Bill's head. Luna also eliminated Tom Starr, Clint Howard, and Paul Hollis Hollister, Hollis Doty Chambers, before framing Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, for her crimes. From there, Luna locked Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline Messinswood, in a cage and would have left her to face a grim fate in that building demolition if John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, hadn't intervened. Now Luna will apparently be sorry for all the turmoil she caused, especially for Bill. Despite all the drama, Luna really did care about Bill and appreciated the way he looked out for her. It sounds like Luna will show some remorse in this letter and let Bill know she'd do things differently if she could rewind the clock. Luna may assure Bill that he's still the best man she's ever known and perhaps always will be. Bill will unpack his complicated emotions during his upcoming conversation with Katie, so she'll be sympathetic. Katie will work to give Bill the support he needs as he tries to put that tough chapter of his life behind him. The bold and the beautiful spoilers say some Luna-related curveballs could still be coming up, so stick with us updates on all the shocking news and more predictions on what's ahead for the character. Luna Langston had always been a name whispered in some circles, but never directly linked to any member of the Spencer family. The past months in Los Angeles had brought her life into a strange, tangled web of secrets and lies. However, the stakes had never been higher than when she found herself seated at her small, worn-out kitchen table, pen trembling in her hand as she contemplated the letter she needed to write. The letter that would soon be in Bill Spencer's hands, igniting a firestorm she couldn't control. The dim light of the kitchen lamp reflected off her auburn hair, casting shadows on the paper below. The silence was almost deafening, interrupted only by the rhythmic tick of the old wall clock, counting down the seconds of her resolve. Luna closed her eyes, the weight of deception and truth pressing against her chest like an anvil. Bill Spencer, the formidable media mogul who could make or break anyone with the snap of his fingers, was about to be brought into her world in a way he'd never anticipated. She sighed deeply and began to write. Dear Mr. Spencer, you don't know me, not really, but I know you better than you think. You've always been a towering figure, not just in Los Angeles, but in my life, even from afar, and now I can't keep hiding in the shadows. There are things you deserve to know, truths that have been twisted and covered up for far too long. You probably recall our first encounter. It was brief, a chance meeting where I passed off my nervousness as shyness and my curiosity as coincidence. But what you didn't see were the eyes behind that encounter, the eyes of a girl who grew up watching you on TV, in the newspapers, a man surrounded by power and drama. A man who unknowingly became central to a story I'd been told my entire life. You might ask, why now? Why this sudden revelation when it's easier for everyone to keep the past buried? Because sometimes, the past has a way of refusing to stay put, no matter how hard you try to cage it. 
Luna put down her pen, her pulse racing as she rubbed her temples. Her mind was a whirlwind, snippets of her mother's stories blending with the raw memory of her father's disdain for all things Spencer. To Luna's family, Bill had always been an imposing shadow, a silent but significant antagonist in the story they lived and whispered about. Her father had long resented Bill, and her mother's late-night confessions only deepened the mystery of why. But Luna knew better than to accept the tales at face value. The truth, as she pieced it together, painted a different picture, one that exposed layers of betrayal and heartache neither her parents nor Bill could have anticipated. She picked up the pen again, this time with a steadier hand. What I'm about to say might feel like a lie, an insult even, but I beg you to hear me out, I am not who you think I am. My real name is not just Luna Langston, it's Luna Spencer, the daughter who never got to know you, the daughter you didn't even know existed. My mother, Elise Langston, used to work at Spencer Publications long before I was born. She left under circumstances that no one dared talk about. The whispers in our house said it was a mutual parting, but I later learned that nothing was mutual about it. She was carrying your child, and instead of confrontation, she chose silence. Growing up, I hated you without understanding why. I was told stories about a ruthless businessman who do anything for power, a man who valued ambition over relationships. But as I got older and watched you from afar, I saw glimpses of something more, your fierce loyalty to your sons, your rare moments of vulnerability. That's when the doubt began to creep in. What if my hatred was misplaced? What if there was more to the story than what I'd been fed? Luna pushed her chair back and stood up, moving toward the small window that overlooked the bustling city. The glimmering lights of Los Angeles stared back at her, an endless sea of stories, secrets, and truths still untold. It felt surreal that her truth might soon be part of that vast ocean. She could almost see Bill's reaction, the narrowed eyes, the tightening jaw, that dangerous silence before the storm. The thought made her shiver, but she knew it had to be done. She walked back to the table and resumed her letter, letting her determination fuel her words. I don't expect you to take my word as the gospel truth. I'm sure you have questions, doubts, maybe even anger simmering beneath your polished exterior. That's okay, I'm prepared for that. I am reaching out because I deserve answers just as much as you deserve to know that there's a daughter out there who's been waiting her entire life for this moment. Whether this changes anything between us or not, I need to know the full story, and more importantly, you need to hear mine. I won't be that silent name on an old employment record or a distant figure haunting the past. I am here, Bill. I'm here, and I'm ready for whatever comes next. Sincerely, Luna Spencer As Luna folded the letter, a mixture of relief and trepidation coursed through her veins. The die was cast, her silence was over. All that remained was to see how Bill Spencer, the man who had unknowingly shaped so much of her life, would react. Would he see her as an interloper, a liar, a disruption to his carefully built empire? Or would he, for the first time, see her as something far more personal, a daughter he never knew he had? With a deep breath, Luna placed the letter into an envelope, sealing not just paper, but a destiny that was now out of her hands. Tomorrow, the envelope would find its way to Spencer Publications, and her words would collide with the world she had spent a lifetime yearning to touch. And then, there would be no turning back.